Hey everyone, this is Dr. Raphael Emmerich Salas, your board certified plastic surgeon, and this is your plastic surgery NIP. It's a collection of important bits of information to help you along in your plastic surgery journey. Give me a couple of minutes and I'll give you the power of knowledge so you can make better decisions to reach your aesthetic goals. Today we're gonna to be talking about neuromodulators versus fillers. I thought this would be a good topic because there's still some confusion as to which one is used for what and where they go. Neuromodulators are designed to block muscle contraction. You may know them as Botox, Dysport, Xeomin, and the newest player on the block, Juvo. Now they're all very similar in makeup and I'm not gonna bore you with the microscopic science of it because I'm trying to bring the most value to the people watching this video and that's just gonna bring you boredom. So, Main thing to think about is we stop the muscle contraction. Think about the lines on your face that you may not be a huge fan of. Your 11s, your crow's feet, and your forehead lines. Now I specifically didn't have myself injected so you could see them live on stage, so you know who loves you. Now, the point is, when you stop muscle contraction, it's like the gym. If you're trying to define your abs, you do a lot of contractions to get that definition. Same thing with your face. As you animate, you're getting definition. And the same thing applies in reverse. If you stop working out, your abs are gonna soften up and the lines aren't gonna show as much. So, if we can stop flexing your muscles on your face, your lines are gonna soften there as well. Now, talking about fillers, that's a whole different animal. The most common are hyaluronic acid. This exists in your body, but in the case of the fillers, they're held together with little crosslinks that allow them to form a gel shape, which then lets us form them to give us the result that we're aiming for in terms of filling lost volume. The big difference is how they're held together. Each one is different in the sense that it allows us to then pick how we're gonna replace the volume that we're trying to mimic. For example, lost volume of fat, lost volume from bony loss, and yes, we do have fillers that are intended to mimic the loss of bone. So the key is going to your consultation and talking with your plastic surgeon or your injector and they can help you decide what's gonna work best for your face and for the needs that you have from your aging process. So that's a quick overview of the difference between neuromodulators and fillers. If you enjoyed the content, please give us a like or a share, subscribe to our channel. If you're listening, please give us a rating. We'd love to have it. If you have any topics you'd like us to cover, definitely send them in and we'll try to include them in future episodes. Definitely check out our website, spsmiami.com for more great content and cool before and after photos. This is Dr. Raphael Emmerich-Salas and this is your plastic surgery nip. Talk to you soon.